from the Heirloom Expo in California, we have given a call for the seed satyakre, a civil disobedience to end seed slavery. The corporations have tried to enclose the seed all over the world. Now they're coming to the heart of the United States to make seed saving and seed exchange illegal through the new California seed law. Every time there has been injustice, whether it was slavery, whether it was racism, or it was imperialism and the British Empire trying to make it illegal for us to have our own salt, forcing us to grow indigo, Gandhi said, as long as the superstition exists that unjust laws must be obeyed, so long would slavery exist. These seed laws of California are, and other places in the world are laws of seed slavery. It's been tried in Colombia, in Europe, in India. Everywhere people have risen in a seed satyagraha, a disobedience of the law, a declaration. It is now for people in the United States to remember, realize, and announce that true freedom grows out of civil disobedience against immoral, unjust laws. The real laws of the seed are not Monsanto laws of monopoly. They are not laws of forcing toxic seeds on people. They are based on the law of the seed held in the diversity that is behind me at the Heirloom Expo. The law of the seed is a law of openness, of sharing of open source seeds. Any law that criminalizes seed saving and seed sharing is violating the rights of nature, the rights of diversity, human rights of people. Both the farmers and gardeners who grow the seed and eaters who deserve healthier food than GMOs or toxic loaded, nutritionally empty food. It is time to rise for freedom of the seed. And that will only happen when we stop obeying laws that are designed to colonize the seed and our food.